hello and welcome. Today we'll be talking about two ways to improve the DC motor's ability to maintain the designated RPM. Voltage compensation and load compensation. Voltage compensation means that even though the operating voltage changes, the controller is able to maintain the motor's voltage constant. This is shown in the following example. The motor has been set to run at a voltage of 12 volts. The power supply supplies the motor with 30 volts. When changing the supplied voltage from 30 to 20 volts, the motor controller adjusts its pulse width modulation ratio so that the motor's voltage and RPM remain the same regardless of the change in the supplied voltage. High quality power supplies require less compensation. For example, when using a regulated power supply, no voltage compensation is needed. More information regarding pulse width modulation can be found in the pulse width modulation video. The second compensation option, and most likely the more important one, is the so-called load compensation. This focuses on improving the motor's load tolerance. This is especially important when having a heavy load on a low speed. The following example demonstrates the effects of not using load compensation. The motor is being driven with 25% of its full speed. Its load is slowly being increased. The RPM meter displays how its RPM drops drastically as the motor's current increases. Now the scenario is repeated but this time with load compensation that has been set to match the selected motor. Applying the same load as last time, the motor is clearly able to maintain its speed better than in the previous example. So, what happens when using load compensation? The controller measures the motor's current and it's multiplied with the load compensation factor. The result of this equation is added to the controller's initial pulse width modulation ratio. The same can be displayed on the oscilloscope. Notice how the pulse width modulation adjusts as the motor's load is increased. Choosing the right load compensation varies with different motors, so there's no universal setting that can be applied to all motors. Finding the right setting for your motor is done by slowly increasing the load compensation and applying load for the motor until the right setting is found. However, setting a too high load compensation will make the motor twitch and have it become unstable. Those were the basics of voltage and load compensation. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.